In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a crossover poster using nothing but what Pixel app on your smartphone. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing first, we have to change the background of our work and we will be dealing with background, how to create a background for the work that we are coming to do first. So let's go ahead and do that quickly. Uh, we will select color and change the background to black. After that, let's delete this text over here. So click on delete to delete it. All right, so having deleted a text like that, the next thing that we we'll have to do is to insert a shape and give it color blue. All right, having stretched the shape across our working area, let's change the color to blue and reduce the opacity to 50%. Having done that, the next thing is to bring in our resources, all right? So there are a few resources that we'll be using in this tutorial and I'm going to leave them in the video description so that you can go ahead and download them and also practice along, all right? So let's go ahead and import the first one. So we have to stretch it to cover the entire working area for us. Having done it like this, let's reduce the opacity to way around 9% thereabouts. So let's go ahead and lock the layer. The next thing to do is to click on this sticker over here and stretch it all over your working area then tap any other space outside the sticker all right so after doing this tap on the sticker here you've inserted tap on it back again like this and it will be highlighted right after this go ahead to color option then give it a color preferably we will give it a color like pink for this one we'll make a duplicate of it and put it inside our working area like this then we'll go ahead and lock them as well right after this the next thing is to import our next resource file so let's do that quickly so let's go ahead and crop it a bit Then we stretch it on our working area, then push it to the top a bit. Having pushed it to the top, let's clean part of it. So let's select the eraser tool. So reduce the hardness of your brush and increase the size a bit, then come back and erase part of the element. When you are done, you click on a check mark, then you have it over here like this. Then you go ahead and reduce the opacity of it to way around like 27%. Then you click on a check mark. Now we are almost done with the background. So the next thing to do is to bring in our lens flares. We may not be using that right now, so let's go ahead and lock them.
So what we have to do next is to put in our test and start with our web straightforward. So let's click on test, tap edit, and go ahead and put in cross. All right, we are going to write crossover. So let's first write cross using a font. All right, the link to the font I'll be using will be in the video description. So I can go ahead and download everything that I'll be using over here. So click OK, and we are good to go. So let's select the fonts that I'll be using for this one, which is this. Now let's change the color and preferably we'll be using gradients for this particular test. All right. I've already set the gradient, but I can also go ahead and set it back from the beginning so that you also get to know how I came about it. So this is the gradient actually. So let me just go back and show you how I did it. All right. So here it is. So having my gradient on a test like this, the next thing that I'll do is to make sure that the church image is on top of the cross. All right. It will give it a shadow. So let's bring it on top okay you can see the effect it's having on the cross that i've written over there so the next thing to do is to go ahead and write over so we are writing crossover so let's write over and for the over i will be using a font named Hevitas. So let's go ahead and select the font heavy tabs. So we click on OK, then we increase the size a bit. And we bring it to the middle by using our adjusting tool, which is the relative position tool. So the other test that we we'll enter will be night, so crossover night. click OK, then the font I will be using will be Photography Signature. And to have access to all these fonts, you can go ahead and check my recent video where I gave all these fonts away. So you can download them and install straightforward onto your Pizzle app and be using them. So let's increase the size of it a bit. And work on the padding of it to show every test clearly. Now we will be using the same gradient that we use for the cross for this particular work as well. Having done that, let's position it in the middle. So now let's make use of our lens flares. So we go and enable them. So I will start using them. So we unlock them. So let's put the first one over here. Sorry. And then we change the color to that of the gradient. Then we go ahead and lock it as well. After that, we select the second lens flare and work on it. So for this one, we change the color to white. Then we reduce it a bit and put it over here around the O of the over. So right after this, the next thing is to put a church name and a logo at the top, okay?
let's reduce the size of this and work it out the next thing is to go ahead and input the date the host name and the time that the program will be coming up all right so let's do that quickly so i already have my test copied so i'll just paste them over here then i continue with the remaining work For this, we'll be using the heavy task for the fonts. Then we'll reduce the size down a bit. And then 16 is okay so that it will look well. So we bring it down a bit and right under this, then we put our time so let's go ahead and do that quickly Let's reduce the size of the time. So right after this we will input the host name and we are good to go. For alignment, let's choose justify and bring it down a bit. So let's position it at the center using the relative position tool. So having done this, you are good to go. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the like button of this video and share this video with your friends and please to download all the fonts that i use check the description of this video and you have access to all the fonts that i use in this video